welcome to my next point and clicky adventure. Uh, it's going to be, as you can see up there, I, it's going to be Blazing Dragons. JPEGification! <laughs> They're attacking the royal minds again! Knights of the square table, defend our family jewels! We must defeat Sir George's men! Gasflame, establish a defense perimeter! Bernevere, report on troop strength! Blaze, you and I will attack in formation Delta Tango Orange! Or better yet, let's just rush in and torch those buggers! More Camel Hawk! <laughs> Loading, loading, loading. Do some more loading, loading. <laughs> and, well, it's like one of those games I bought a very, very long time ago. Not, not too long after I got a, uh, oh, previews, huh? Uh oh. Um, my controller is not working. Okay, pa. I had to, uh, reset the controller. <laughs> um, before I was using the PS5 controller, but it decided it wasn't gonna work. And I had to switch to the 8-bit do again. Sound and text. Oh, I was like having that on. It's pretty quiet in my ear, and according to what I'm seeing up there, up on the OBS, it's pretty quiet. And bring it up a little bit more. I don't know. I won't know until I actually am. Um, <laughs> listen to this. I already did a couple test playthroughs. They sounded okay to me. But then again, I'm hearing this through my headset. See? Ah, uh, controls. Let's get our password. Well... I was walking around Die Hard Game Club. Ah, uh, I, I miss him. That's where I was finally able to get a hold of Mega Man: The Wily Wars. And yeah, you know, I, I previously bought Discworld, and this one was on the shelf. But I was reading through it and go like, eh, I don't know. Oh, Cheech Marine. Oh, I wonder, Cheech Marine, Cheech Marine. Will I? Ah, uh, oh, there it is. I see right over there. I don't know how this is gonna work. Chief Marine, Terry Jones, and uh, later we'll go on and find that BJ Ward. Uh, I think Kathy Sosa is in here. So, uh, wow, really regular cast list. I'm surprised you were able to get all those top talents. And I, I enjoyed it. I played through it a couple of times. I think I, it wasn't as difficult as Discworld. I think I was able to get through it without uh, a walkthrough. I just kind of like maybe enjoy Discworld more because it, I was able to read the books as a TV series and it really wasn't all that good. The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merlin! I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camel Hot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camel Hot. Why is it give us something to look at? 
My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze lever was pure genius. Flicker, Gil. hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Olfar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze lever one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. Now, guys, for what you liked about this game, let's see. A good inventor always has his invention book. Everything up and take it. Yeah, yo, he's the main character of the game, but yet it's the jester that's, um... Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Pavlov, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad moth, bad. You break in the fourth wall right away. Yeah, pretty much you just go around and you pick everything it's up. It's a photo of Princess Flame. She's the apple of my eye, the cream in my coffee, the frosting Which on my the cupcake. Decaf. Strange. Whenever I think of Flame, I get very hungry. Flame calls it my junk pile, but one dragon's junk is another dragon's treasure. It's junk. It's just junk. A great inventor needs a great workbench. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this one. These are all the textbooks from my famous inventor's home study course. My hero. Necessity may be the mother of invention, but Albert is definitely the father of invention. They're such a nice couple. I wonder why they never had kids. for a reason. Uh, I don't think you need to go through. Ah, oh, there. A lot of moating. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament. My answer is no. Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight. You're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention, please. Silence, please. Silence for the king. Pray silence. The king is speaking. Uh... Shh. I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh oh, visitors! Like duck eyes. Humans, Humans in Camelot? Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelot Law Book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor! Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. That's racist! Unless, of course, 
They have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18, refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Allfire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Says Keep quiet, dearest. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn. Humans. Pah. We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived. Calm down. Our opponent can be defeated. Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious mm. black I've not heard that voice lots of yes, times. I just don't remember where. Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wacko. Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon uh, yes. to wash. I've got that gold in the pot. See, I kept the potty really bad. I see Sir Gasflame's been using room service again. Ouchie. Knows that the uh, bag goes to the bottom of the screen. Um, I haven't saved in a while, so maybe I should do that. Uh... Oh, wait, I... How do I save? Here it is in my bag. Oh, jeez, so... I bet this mop keeps the kitchen floor clean enough to eat off. We should use it on the tables. <laughs> I could most likely use this in case I make a mess. Or perhaps for something else. It fits like it was it made to obvious. go there. Now, if only I could get this thing to spin. Flicker, I've got great news. You're going to help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you compete in a tournament. To become a knight, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the Cave of Dilemma. Leave alive, and you're a knight. Good luck! Bye! About the Cave well, of that Diploma. sure simplified things. Tell me what it is I need to do right at the beginning of the game. All right. How do they actually pronounce this? Without candles in it, the tube-like hollow design could be used for other things. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. This. I love it when an invention comes together. Dishpan claws are now a thing of the past. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now, how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. What's all this then? Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention. The automatic dishwasher. I see it's run off steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. Perhaps later I can help you find some further uses for it. Better not. He seems deep in thought. Or asleep. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You gotta go find Princess Flame somewhere. 
Just grab everything. I'll just take the Monarch Quarterly along in case I get a sudden bout of insomnia. Pipe cleaners? I don't have sinus problems, but this pipe cleaner might come in handy. From this balcony, King Allfire can admire the majestic landscapes of Camelhot, which, by the way, are on loan from the Majestic Landscaping Company. From this balcony... I know I'll need those pipe cleaners later, I just don't remember what for. This door goes to Princess Flame's bedroom. This is my bedroom. Next time, knock, please. Excuse me? Flame? Flicker, have you done it? Are you a squire? Uh, I'm close, Flame. Honest. Hurry, Flicker. I refuse to marry against my will. Can't you talk the king out of forcing you to marry? Use your feminine wiles. You know, smile sweetly. Lock him in a half, Nelson. I've tried, but he reversed me into a figure four leg lock. And you know, dragons, these dragons have four legs. So I'll be more like a figure eight. Flame? Some flick. Do you have any more advice about becoming a knight? Nope, but here's a kiss for good luck. <laughs> Could we try that good luck kiss thing again? Is there anything? This room has a lovely sneezing pit. We had to rebuild the castle three times before I invented these. Yeah, just <laughs> take whatever you want out of the princess's room. It's Princess Flame's couch. If Princess Flame was willing, I'd make it a love seat. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, here was Just one more. Flame. So, uh, what sort of dragon do you want to marry? Well, the dragon of my dreams is sensitive. The other day I saw a rainbow so beautiful, I wept. Of course, he'd have to be funny. Did you hear about the human who thought manual labor was a famous Spanish painter? Brave. He'd have to be brave. I'm almost completely over that nightlight phase. I swear. And most important of all, he'd have to be covered in tattoos that say, I belong to flame. Fine, I'll check the docks and get back to you. Touchy. Sensitive. <laughs> Remember there's, um, I have to get up to the library for some reason? I can remember how to do it. Skipped it earlier. Leave it. I'm like 20 minutes into this, I still haven't left the castle yet. It's like worse than Discworld. This chart denotes endangered species, which are protected by law. That dill three-feathered mina? Cockroach? Poor little guys. They're exquisite birds with such excellent taste. Unfortunately, they taste excellent to the hedgehogs. There's only two of them left, and they're not even speaking. If they don't kiss and make up, the species is almost certainly doomed to extinction. I've been trying to figure out where I've heard that voice before. He sounds like people imitating the uh, crocodile stalker.
made it, Mick. Here we are in the backwoods of Georgia, <laughs> looking for a redneck. <laughs> Get them peggies down, boy. There used to be plenty of them until the minor birds started fighting back. They sent in a mediator, but they ate him. I think I'm supposed to put another later on. Let's put like draw in. Is a hole Free in that chair. For the users of the library. The hip hip hurrah. I said free chairs, not three cheers, librarian Pure Flame. Well, do keep it down. This is a library after all. I think there's a. Ah. It appears to be the library storeroom. I prefer to stand when I read. That way I can turn the pages with my tail. Yeah, you know, in real life, there's there are chairs with the holes in the center like that. Tis the enchanted doorway. Yeah, I'm trying not to take too much time on this. A little bit of a heartburn from the Taco Bell I had earlier. I beg your pardon. Yes. What can I do for you? I need your help. I have to locate the Knights of the Square Table. I've got a semi-enchanted map. It will show you where you want to go, even if you don't know you want to go there. I beg your pardon. Yeah? What's the easiest way to become a squire? Kiss some knight's butt flicker. It hurts, but it's worth it. Oh, heavens me, did I just say that? Can I have some useless information? A watched kettle will not boil. A watched kettle with a flame under it will. What are you knitting? Oh, my little boy's grown another two feet since last week. I just can't keep up. Now, what can I do for you? I need one of those, um, things. You know. You mean one of those diddly bops you put on your, well, you know. Exactly. But without the doohickey on the end. Either you want a new bowstring for your crossbow, or I should slap your face. Either way, I can't help you. I have all the... I think this is, um, Chancellor's office. Hello, Chancellor. Nice flat. So light and airy. You know I don't allow guests up here, Flicker. Please leave. Well, okay. Hey, thanks for the hospitality. Okay. The map really is enchanted. I can see where all four knights have gone. Face your conqueror, Sir George. You've got the wrong castle, so blind as a bat. Um, pardon me, Sir Gasflame. Huh? My word, a giant talking dandelion. <laughs> oh, Flicker, it's you. Why do you refuse to wear glasses? Sir Bernevere wears them into battle. Do you think any less of him? Of course I do, but he can use those large words to defend himself. That's King Allfire up there. Your sense of humour is warped. It's clear this is Castle Grimm, and that fuzzy blot up there is Sir George. Talk to you later. 
I see you're busy attacking the wrong castle. Come down and face your conqueror, mm. Sir George. Oh, I know that he's got here. The I wrong don't think there's castle. Is... So blind as a bat. It's rude and crude to yell in public. If I want to speak to the king, I'll walk to the bedroom. <laughs> don't make me. So I guess I go back inside the castle. God, wow, they couldn't have set this up earlier. Hey, can I find mates into this? Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, this is the right way to go because you can see a crown over the doorway. Come down here, wretched human! Pardon me, King? Not now! Sir Gasflame is down below demanding that I surrender the castle! I intend to revoke the idiot's knighthood! <laughs> Sire, that seems rather harsh. The half-blind ninny could at least face me like a dragon! <laughs> Don't make me Not come up pointless. there, human! That was a total waste of time. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this without the, uh... walkthrough. But I may wind up opening it up here by the next half hour. How did Sabernavir wind up here? This is the home for the grimly insane, where they treat clinically depressed storybook characters. She seems like a very confused young lady. Excuse me, but your hair... It's too long, I know. Otherwise, you never would have said such a thing. Please calm yourself, miss. Yablanowitz! Rapunzel Yablanowitz! And how could I be calm with all this long hair? Is that all yeah. <laughs> oh, what long hair? You don't know what it was like. Everywhere I turned, it was, Rapunzel, throw down your hair! Rapunzel, throw some more hair down! Hey, I didn't get any hair over here! Before long, I was throwing down hair all over the place. It was making me crazy! That's exactly what I was thinking. Crazy. Luckily, Dr. Fraud is a man who knows how to make a commitment. In fact, he's committed everybody here. He's really helped me see the light. Getting the hair out of your eyes probably helped. Should you be outside? Unattended? Yes, of course. I do the gardening around here. I trim the bushes, I trim the grass, I trim everything. And you should have seen that beanstalk before I got to it. Why are you so stressed about your hair? My hair? If I don't keep it short, it'll grow down to the floor and then out the door. But we're outside. Wouldn't it grow in the door? Well, if you're gonna split hairs, now, don't bother me. I got to be ready with my clippers if it tries to grow. Forget I said anything. Most people do. Magic beans. This one looks good. Yeah. Plant, wait, where do you put, where do you put beans? She seems like a... Ah! Magic beans! This place is jumping with them. I've had my fill of them. Plus, too many give me gas. So, you think your mother is, uh... A, a dragon? Oh, good sir. I don't have time for this. Ah, you have a classic case of scale envy. Now, take off that silly costume, hmm? This isn't a costume. I'm a dragon. <laughs> and you, sir, are a fraud. Yes! I am Dr. Zygmunt Ford. Specialist in the disturbed, the confused, and the loony nut boys. What a mess. Sir Burnaby is trapped. All right. Yeah, we're about 20 my almost 30 minutes into this, so this is a good place right, to stop. I'm human. As a review, I picked this I game up. And a, a long time yeah, ago, it was called Die Hard Game Club, and, and because it had Terry Jones and Cheech Marine in it. 
Okay, sound and text controls. Okay, good. Game saved. Okay.